The topic of today's lecture is medical entomology, uh, second part. The lecture is PhD Zhukova uh, AA, uh, Medical Biology Department. In a second uh, lecture of medical entomology, uh, we will uh, tell about class insecta. Uh, in this class, um, the most medical importance uh, have four orders. This is order Anapleura, lies, order Siphonoptera, fleas, order Hemiptera, bugs, order Diptera, mosquitoes, flies, sandflies, and others. Uh, the insecta is the uh, most uh, numerous uh, order uh, of uh, phylum Arthropoda. Each contains over than uh, 20 orders. Uh, the insecta are higher non-vertebrate non -vertebrate organisms and uh, the amount of uh, species of insecta is 1.5 million. Uh, the insecta have uh, next characteristics. The body of insecta is divided into three parts. This is head, thorax and abdomen. Uh, the, these parts are segmented. The head carries a paired eyes, antenna and different types of mouth apparatus. So here you can see uh, the three parts of body of insecta, head, thorax and abdomen. Uh, head contains eyes, mouth apparatus, uh, antenna. Uh, thorax consists of three segments. This is prothorax, mesothorax and metathorax. Each segment uh, carries a uh, uh, one pair of uh, legs and two pairs of wings. After thorax, the segmented abdomen is present. So, three pairs of appendages and two pairs of wings are attached uh, to the thorax. A body of insecta is covered with cuticle uh, on external part. Uh, the cuticle uh, has a protective function and uh, um, do the function of exoskeleton. So uh, the stretched muscles uh, attaches uh, to a cuticle. The muscles of insecta are striated and they provide uh, the uh, movement of appendages. The body cavity of insecta the same as all arthropoda and this is mixa cell. Insecta are triploblastic animals, so um, they are developed from ecta, mesa, and endoderm. The bilateral symmetry of the body is characterized for insecta. The insecta have a well-developed organs and systems. The digestive system of insecta consists of three parts. These are foregut, midgut, and hindgut. Foregut uh, includes mouth, pharynx, and esophagus. The salivary glands open into mouth uh, of insecta. Midgut is stomach. 
This is middle part of uh, digestive system and uh, it has endodermal origin and carries many digestive glands which produce enzymes. In gut uh, includes ileum, colon and rectum. Uh, where not digested food uh, is uh, removed uh, by the anus to outside. Uh, the hindgut is developed from a uh, ectoderm and have cuticular covering. The circulatory system of insecta uh, is of an open type, uh, each lacking arteries and veins. Circulatory system is present presented uh, by a pulsating vessel of the heart which uh, lay on dorsal side of the body. The uh, contractions of heart pumps pump the blood uh, which has name hemolymph uh, to the different parts of the body. The hemolymph flows freely uh, throughout their bodies, lubricated tissues and transporting nourishment and uh, remove the waste products. The hemolymph of insecta is colorless, uh, each contains phagocytes. So the function of hemolympha, this is transport of na uh, nutrition and removement of waste products. Uh, and the uh, circulatory system of, of, mov of most insecta uh, doesn't uh, take part in transport of gases. The respiratory system of insecta is performed uh, by tracheas. The trachea opens uh, on a lateral surface of thorax and abdomen which with, with pause and trachea transport air to inner organs. The excretory organs of insecta are malpigian tubes and fat body. Uh, it is an um, uh, the fat body is an uh, excretory organ for storage of uh, nutrition and absorption of uh, uric acid and other waste products. Nervous system of insecta contains a supraesophageal ganglion uh, circular connective branches uh, and ventral nervous cord. The brain of insecta is divided into three parts, anterior, medial and posterior. The anterior part contains uh, mushroom-like formations and uh, forms uh, the coordinative center of brain, which regulate uh, which regulates uh, complicated uh, habitual and life activities of higher insects, insects as bees, wasps, ants and others. It also contains a center of vision uh, which provides the uh, work of complicated eyes. Uh, the, med uh, the medial part innervates the antenna, tact tactile and uh, olfactory organs. Posterior patch innervates the uh, superior lip and uh, the anterior patch of the digestive system. The ventral nervous cord innervates the intestine, heart, uh, aorta and the uh, reproductive system. So, uh, the main parts uh, of uh, nervous system of insecta, this is brain, 
and the uh, knob tube. In the insects, the nervous system is based on the principles of reflexes. Uh, the efferent impulses uh, move through, uh, move it to brain from different sensory organs. Uh, the uh, sensory organs uh, uh, of um, insect uh, are very various, and each provide. Uh, uh, where um, difficult behavior and uh, uh, each provide their life in environment. The eyes of insecta can be simple and compound. Uh, today we will tell about parasitic insecta. So, um, in some parasitic insecta, uh, as, re as result of uh, um, becoming of body more simple, uh, uh, so the, the most of parasitic insecta have simple eyes. But uh, the most insecta uh, have the difficult compound eyes which provide the uh, mosaic vision. This type of vision enables to determine colors uh, and distances. But uh, for some parasitic insects, the simple eyes are characterized. Endocrine glands of insecta regulate the processes of growth and development, metamorphosis and metabolism. They are uh, represented by neurosecretory cells of the brain and ductless glands. They regulate protein metabolism and egg formation. Uh, the reproduction uh, of uh, most insecta is uh, sexual. Uh, the sexual uh, dimorphism is characterized for most insecta, so the females differs from males. Uh, the female reproductive system uh, consists of pairs, paired ovaries and non-paired oviduct. The male reproductive system contains testes, ducts, uh, differences uh, and tubular glands. The development of all uh, insecta is indirect with larval stage or metamorphosis. So, uh, for all insecta, the indirect development is characterized. The indirect development, this is development with larval stage or metamorphosis. There are uh, two types of uh, metamorphosis which characterize for insecta. This is incomplete and complete metamorphosis. The incomplete uh, metamorphosis includes three stages egg, larva or nymph, and adult. adult. The incomplete metamorphosis is characterized uh, for such uh, uh, parasitic insects as um, bugs, uh, lice, bugs, and lice. A complete metamorphosis includes four stages. This is, la this is egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Uh, the complete metamorphosis is characterized for parasitic insects uh, as uh, odogyptera uh, and uh, for fleas. The first order, which uh, we uh, 
uh, study in um, in class Insecta is order Diptera. Each includes a family Culicidae, uh, which includes mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are blood-sucking insecta. Uh, they have small size. Uh, the body uh, of mosquitoes divide into head, thorax, abdomen, and uh, the fusion of segments is characterized. The head uh, carries paired compound eyes. Uh, each has antenna and uh, different types of mouth apparatus. Uh, the mouth of mosquitoes has sucking mouth apparatus. Uh, the mosquitoes have three pairs of appendages and two pairs of wings which attach, which attach uh, to the thorax. Uh, the, um, for uh, mosquitoes, uh, the incomplete for mosquitoes, the indirect development with complete metamorphosis is characterized. So, uh, from egg, the larva hatches out after some mulching uh, and active feeding each uh, transfer to pupa and uh, from pupa the adult hatches out. This form of development uh, has name complete metamorphosis and each characterized for uh, all organisms uh, from uh, uh, order Diptera. So each includes four stages egg, larva, pupa and adult. Uh, the most uh, magical importance in uh, order Diptera has the next species of mosquitoes. This is Anopheles, Culex and Aedes. On this picture, on this slide, you can see the difference uh, differences uh, between uh, the um, main stages uh, of uh, mosquitoes Anopheles and Culex. So you can see the difference between eggs, larva, pupa and adults. This is larva of uh, mosquito culex. Uh, on this slide, you can see the briefing siphon, which uh, provide uh, the localization of larva to the angle uh, to surface of water. So, the main specific feature uh, of uh, larva of culex is the presence of respiratory siphon. This is larva of mosquito anopheles. Each doesn't have a respiratory siphon, so uh, the larva of this uh, organism uh, is laid to parallel to the surface of water. Uh, this is part of a uh, head uh, of uh, mosquito anopheles. So, uh, the head of mosquito anopheles uh, has white briefing trumpets. Uh, the head of uh, this is head of pupa of uh, anopheles. Uh, each has white briefing trumpets. Uh, the head of uh, a pupa of culex has narrow uh, cylindrical briefing trumpets.
the mosquitoes as a blood sucking uh, insectas uh, has a very uh, high medical importance uh, the mosquitoes uh, are vectors for causative agents of malaria, yellow fever, dengue fever, filariasis, encephalitis, and dermatobia. So, uh, the, uh, female, uh, the female of uh, mosquito anopheles is vector and final host for plasmodium. Plasmodium, as you remember, is causative agent of malaria. Culex and Aedes are vectors for Japanese encephalitis, yellow fever, tularemia, and filariasis. Yellow fever, this is viral disorder which characterizes for a tropical and subtropical regions of South America and Africa. The main symptom of this uh, disorder, uh, this is severe headache, pain, pain in bones uh, and uh, the skin uh, become yellow, so we can see the severe jaundice. The mortality of this disorder is very high. The people uh, infected by yellow fever by uh, biting of mosquitoes, uh, adders and culex. Dengue, dengue fever or break bone fever is caused, this is viral disorder too. The disease is widely di distributed in tropical and subtropical regions. The people infected by uh, biting uh, of uh, mosquitoes, uh, culex, adders and anopheles. Uh, the symptoms of this disorder are sudden high fever with a rash on face. Uh, the uh, severe headache, uh, uh, pain in eyes, mus muscles, and appendages. The dengue fever is not fatal, but uh, some forms of dengue fever can uh, develop uh, very quickly. So here on this slide you can see the symptoms of this disorder. The mosquitoes are vectors uh, for roundworm Bukereria bancrofti and Bukereria malaya. Uh, this roundworm is causative agent uh, of uh, elephantiasis or Vuchereriasis. The people infected by this disorder by biting uh, of uh, mosquitoes uh, of a uh, genus uh, Aedes, Culex or Anopheles. Uh, this parasite, Cucereria uh, bancrofti, it blocks uh, the uh, lymphatic vessels mostly of lower extremities and uh, cause the increasing of uh, lower extremities. We can infect by this disorder by biting of female of mosquitoes edex, culex, culex and anopheles. Encephalitis. Uh, this is viral disorder which characterized by high fever, headache uh, and uh, damaging of brain. Uh, each uh, trans each uh, transferred by uh, some species of edex and culex. Uh, dermatobia. Dermatobia the bird fly. Uh, this is um, 
fly. This fly uh, lay uh, each egg uh, on body of uh, mosquitoes. When the mosquitoes uh, bites uh, the people, uh, the eggs of this bo uh, boat fly uh, hatch very quickly and uh, the larvas of this uh, fly penetrate uh, the uh, human skin uh, and cause uh, swelling, inflammation, pain. Um, this is cutaneous meiosis. So uh, uh, this fly uh, use uh, uh, the, uh, some species of uh, mosquitoes uh, as vector for uh, larvas and eggs. So, uh, you understand which mosquitoes is a very big problem uh, for healthy of people in many countries. So, there are some uh, general methods uh, against uh, which are used by people against of mosquitoes. The first methods, these are mechanical methods. So, this is using of uh, nets uh, on windows uh, near of beds. Uh, for mechanical protection uh, against of mosquitoes. Uh, natural or physical methods. Changing the environment uh, uh, so um, each becomes uh, is unfavorable for mosquitoes. This is drainage uh, of uh, breeding places uh, um, development of shade uh, if larva requires sunshine and vice versa. So uh, changes of water level, uh, uh, pH of water uh, can uh, do uh, the development uh, of ma for mosquitoes is not comfortable and can cause the decreasing of number of uh, mosquitoes. The biological methods, uh, these are using of natural enemies or predators of mosquitoes. These are fishes, Gambusia affinis uh, is fish which feed by larvas and pupas of mosquitoes. Frogs, ducks, uh, these are uh, natural enemies uh, which uh, uh, feed by uh, mosquitoes. Uh, the biological methods uh, includes uh, the uh, gene uh, modifying sterilized males uh, which uh, compete uh, with normal males in nature uh, and uh, these uh, sterilized uh, males uh, uh, fused with females uh, and uh, cause the reduction of uh, number of next generation. So uh, this uh, can't uh, fertilize females and it causes the decreasing of number uh, of mosquitoes. Chemical methods. These are using of insecticides. Uh, insecticides act on contact uh, uh, being absorbed through the cuticle. These are uh, spray spray with uh, insecticides uh, which gases immediately knock down uh, of mosquitoes. Um, uh, mostly uh, these uh, uh, insecticides um, contain pyretrum. Uh, residual spray of resulting uh, of resting places of adults uh, where we can use insecticides, uh, hydrocarbons, SDDT, uh, or other um, chemical insecticides, which uh, kills the adults um, and the uh, larvas. Uh, using uh, of uh, different poisons, uh, against of larvas of mosquitoes. The pupas are not affected uh, because they don't feed. 
respiratory poisons, uh, applying non volatile oils uh, on surface of water, which uh, prevent the breathing of larvas and the pupas by blocking the respiratory spiracles and breathing siphons. Uh, residual insecticides as DDT, dipterex, which sprayed on water surface, uh, mixed with dust or oil. Uh, practically, uh, any one method alone is uh, not efficient uh, for mosquito control. Very often, for successful um, killing of mosquitoes, we should use two or more methods which uh, provide uh, the um, efficient level of uh, killing of mosquitoes on different wear stages. And you should remember, uh, with time, uh, the, uh, mosquito, the adults of mosquitoes and uh, their pupas and larvas become resistant uh, to different uh, chemical substances. So, uh, for uh, decreasing of number of mosquitoes, we should use uh, two or three methods um, of control against of mosquitoes. The next family uh, of uh, order Diptera, this is family Muscidae. Each includes different flies. Our first fly, this is house fly, Musca domestica. This is simple house fly, each lives everywhere. Uh, and uh, the medical importance of house fly, this is mechanical vector. Uh, of spores of bacteria, eggs of helminths, uh, and uh, um, and uh, cysts of uh, different uh, pathological protozoa. So the housefly is vector for dysentery, cholera, hepatitis, uh, uh, and many other human disorders. Uh, the next um, medical importance of flies, uh, which uh, the, some flies uh, are causative agent of miasis. Miasis, these are group of disorders which cause by larvas of fly. Please remember this. Miasis are disorders which cause by larvas of fly. After deposition of eggs on a uh, host skin, the larva of some flies uh, hatches out, they burrow into skin or penetrate into wounds and develops to adults. So these um, damages of skin, which caused by uh, larvas of flies, uh, we call miasis. The first fly which can cause miasis, this is Valfartia magnifica. This is fly which mostly uh, live in uh, tropical and subtropical regions of South America, Asia and Africa. Uh, this uh, Valfartia magnifica, uh, each lay eggs uh, into skin of warm-blooded animals. The larva hatches out and starts to feed by tissue, by living tissue of these animals, uh, causes uh, the formation of severe wounds. After this, uh, the uh, larva uh, down to the soil transfer into pupa and pu from pupa the adult fly hatches out.
so valfartia fly larva causes tissue meiosis. The next fly uh, is boat fly. The Latin name is Dermatobia. Uh, we told about Dermatobia when we told about uh, mosquitoes. So, the Dermatobia use some species of mosquitoes for, for transferring of eggs. When mosquito uh, sucks human blood from eggs, the larva hatches out. Uh, these larvas uh, penetrate the human skin and feed by human tissue. So, mostly it causes the skin meiosis too. After some time, this larva um, fall down to the uh, soil, transfer into pupa and from pupa the adult fly uh, hatches out. So here on this slide, you can see uh, the life cycle of uh, Dermatobia. The larva of Dermatobia feed only by a warm blooded tissue of people and mammals. Classification of meiosis. There are three main types of meiosis. The first type specific meiosis, uh, each caused by obligatory tissue parasite. When the larva of fly develops only in warm blooded living tissue of animals. The uh, flies which can cause specific meiosis, this is a Valfartia fly and Dermatobia fly. So the larva of this fly, uh, flies can't live anywhere except of, um, so the, larva, the larvas of this fly can live only in tissue of warm blooded animals. Same specific meiosis. Each caused by larvas of obligatory ne necrobiotes. So, uh, mostly uh, this fly lay eggs into uh, decaying material. Uh, but sometimes they uh, attack the human uh, because they attracted by uh, uh, order of emanate, um, emanating uh, from discharges uh, uh, or decaying tissue. So very often uh, these flies lay eggs into um, human wounds uh, which has large number of pus. Um, these uh, larvas feed mostly by dead tissue. Uh, when uh, semi-specific meiosis uh, can cause uh, by uh, flies from family Califarida. Accidental meiosis. Uh, it cause uh, by larvas uh, which accidentally uh, get into human body. For example, accidental meiosis can cause by larva of uh, Musca domestica, Stamoxis and Avis. Diagnosis of meiosis. Uh, this is finding larvas in wounds and lesions. Uh, the treatment of meiosis. This is a simple uh, removal of larvas. So mostly uh, the larvas of flies uh, develops in skin of human and animals and the feed by uh, living tissues.
The next organisms are from family, family Muscida, this is ZZ fly. The most of you study ZZ fly because it is vector for Trypanosoma brucei gambians. ZZ fly, uh, this is fly from family Glacinida uh, and uh, the uh, genus of ZZ fly is Glacina. Glacina palpalis, this is specific vector for Trypanosoma brucei gambians. Glacina morsitans is specific vector for Trypanosoma brucei radesians. The both species of Trypanosoma are causative agent uh, of sleeping sickness. So, the Z flies are vectors for African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness. And you remember which is the distribution of sleeping sickness depends on geographical distribution of ZZ flies. So, ZZ fly is specific vector for sleeping sickness. This is ZZ fly. Each live in some regions of Africa and uh, in these regions uh, we can uh, infect by sleeping sickness. The next fly, this is vector for round worm lower lower. The specific vector for lower lower is manga fly. Latin name of manga fly is Chryseps. The people infect by lower lower by biting of a manga fly. During the bite, the microfilaria move to the wound and spread in human body. The adult worms mostly if mostly live in subcutaneous tissue and in conjunctiva of eyes. Uh, the, low, the geographical distribution of lower lower, this is some parts of Africa. Uh, uh, and uh, the distribution is limited by distribution of geographical distribution of manga fly. So this is a fly crisp. This is specific vector for lower lower. Low law is causative agent of low losses. The next order are from a class insecta, this is order Anaplura. Each includes lice. Lice, these, lice, these are obligatory, um, ecta, obligatory, permanent ectoparasites of people and mammals. On a human body, three species of lice live. Which, this is Pediculus humanus capitis, Pediculus humanus corporis, and Phtirus pubis. Mm -hmm. Pediculus humanus capitis. Uh, this is um, headless. Pediculus humanus corporis. This is bodilus and uh, Phtirus pubic. Tyrus pubis, this is pubic lus or crab lus. Uh, this parasite attach uh, to human hairs or live uh, in a human garment, uh, suck blood 
and can be vectors for different human disorders. Mostly, um, we can find lice. We can find lice in children. So, Pediculus humanus capitis. This is a small insect. The size of this insect is near. 4.3-4.5 uh, uh, millimeters. Uh, it is wingless. Uh, it uh, has a simple eyes and uh, the mouth apparat of sucking type. So each leaves in uh, hairs of uh, head and sucks blood. A female uh, lay eggs and uh, each produce the special glide substances which attaches eggs to human hair very very hardly. The name of uh, egg of uh, lice is meat. The medical importance uh, of um, Pediculus humanus capitis, it causes disease pediculosis. And uh, Pediculus humanus capitis and Pediculus humanus corporis are vectors uh, for, uh, for um, epidemic uh, typhus. The symptoms of presence of uh, lice on the head, this is itching, uh, uh, the person scratch, uh, hyperpigmentation of the um, skin, red macules. Pediculus humanus corporis, this is a relative of Pediculus humanus capitis, but this uh, loose uh, leaf in uh, clothing and garment of people. Each feed, uh, each sucks blood too. Uh, pediculus humanus corporis uh, causes pediculosis too and it is vector for epidemic typhus. Pterus pubis, this is crab loose, it is smaller as uh, mm, Pediculus, uh, it is smaller uh, as head and body loose, and the size of crab loose is near 1.5 millimeters. These parasites, this parasite live on hairs of genitalia, eyelashes, eyebrows, uh, mustache, uh, and other parts of the body, but it doesn't live on uh, hairs of head, so all hairs except of head. Uh, each cause a uh, severe itching because each feed by blood uh, and um, but uh, you should remember which of tirus pubis is not vector for any human disorders. Of tirus pubis causes disease pteriosis. And if we tell which uh, by uh, Pediculus humanus capitis and Pediculus humanus corporis mostly children suffer, uh, if we tell about Pterus pubis, it mostly characterized for adult people and why of, and way of infection is contact with sick person and sometimes a sexual way of infection. All uh, the way of infection by uh, the ways of infection uh, of all species of lice, this is contact with a um, sick person or with a uh, clothes or garment of this person.
So on this picture you can see where Ftirus pubis or crab loose. Uh, very often each can live in eyelashes, eyebrows and other parts of human body. The diagnosis of lice, this is clinical picture and finding uh, parasites and wear eggs in human hairs or human clothes. Next order is order Afaniptera or Siphonoptera, these are fleas. Please, uh, this, um, fleas, uh, this is, um, fleas, uh, this is order Siphonoptera or Afaniptera. Uh, these are temporary uh, human ectoparasites. Um, for fleas, uh, when mm, indirect development with complete metamorphosis is characterized. Mostly, uh, the uh, fleas uh, lives in holes, tunnels, um, uh, or places where the large number of animals live. Uh, fleas uh, lay eggs into garbage. From uh, eggs, the larva hatches out. It is very active, it uh, um, feed and transfer into pupa. From pupa, the adult insect hatches out. Uh, the fleas uh, have flattened body. The size of this body is near 4-5 millimeters. It is wingless uh, insect. Uh, um, it has uh, sim two simple eyes and a sucking mouth apparat. So it feeds by sucking of blood of people and other animals. It has three pairs of appendages and the third pair is elongated and it provides the jumping of fleas from one host to other host. So it moves by jumping. It is temporary ectoparasite of human and animals. So, each sucks blood, after this, each jumps uh, to where, uh, each jumps uh, to other animals uh, or uh, to uh, where house. So, human flea, uh, dog flea, uh, for fleas, uh, the uh, food specialization is absent. Uh, the hungry flea can uh, suck blood of people and other animals. Mostly, uh, the fleas uh, live in burrows of rodents, nests of birds. A body of fleas consists of head, thorax and abdomen. It is covered with chitin, with small teeth-like structures on each. The head uh, has uh, one pair of simple eyes, antenna and tentacles. Uh, the oral the uh, mouth apparatus uh, is of cutting, sucking type. The, uh, develop the indirect development with complete metamorphosis is characterized for fleas. Uh, after uh, four twelve days, the larva hatches out from eggs, each mouth free time, and transfer into pupa. From pupa, the adult flea hatches out. The life cycle uh, depends of amount of food and uh, a species and may range from 16 to 220 days. 
So this is pulix irritans human flea. But it can feed by uh, blood of human, dogs, uh, mice, uh, rodents and others. Medical importance of fleas. Uh, the, uh, me, the most important medical important of flea it is vector for bacteria of plague. The plague this is bacterial disorder and the causative agent is Yersinia pestis. Uh, the bacteria of plague has natural reservoir hosts. These are rodents where the reproduction of this bacteria happens. When the flea um, sucks the blood of infected rodents, the intestine of this flea is temporarily um, become blocked. So when the hungry flea sucks the blood of people, this blood uh, is returned uh, with uh, microorganisms of plaque uh, into wound. Uh, but uh, it is very important uh, the uh, flea um, stay the hungry. So each uh, jump from one person to other person and infect all these people by plague. So by this way uh, in short period of time, uh, the flea can infect many people. Sometimes uh, infection can take place through the infected fleeces uh, of fleas, which are rubbed into skin. Human and red fleas can be vectors of bacteria of fly of plague. Uh, the fleas can be. Uh, vectors uh, for dog and mice cystode, endemic typhus causative agent and others. The prevention against of fleas, this is proper disposal of sewage, uh, treatment of uh, domestic animals and control of rodents. The other name of uh, plague, this is black death, uh, and uh, in, hi in human history it is very well known, but a huge uh, pandemics, uh, uh, especially in Europe, uh, which uh, when the parasite uh, kill near of 30-60% of uh, people in Europe. Reducing of world population uh, from this uh, parasite uh, uh, is estimated near of 450 million uh, in the 14th century. So the plague is very, very dangerous disease. These are the symptoms of plague. There are uh, many historical uh, information about plague. The next order is order Hemoptera. These are bugs. Uh, the most of bugs are parasites of animals, plants, and people. Bad bug uh, is temporary human parasite and it feed by blood of animals and people. 
the color of this bar of this bag is uh, brown mm -hmm. reddish the size is near of 4 h millimeters each has head thorax and abdomen uh, this is uh, the, um, in bad bug uh, where uh, wings are reduced and each has a sucking type of mouth apparat the saliva uh, of um, uh, bad bug contains uh, the uh, substances which cause a uh, severe irritation so uh, the place of bites of bad bug uh, in this place where uh, inflammation uh, develops and it can cause the severe allergy reaction and severe itching Uh, the uh, other uh, organisms are from uh, this uh, order. This is kissing bug or uh, redivid or bug from fam or, or bug from family redivida. Uh, this is a uh, night animal. So at the night, uh, this bug uh, bites the people. Uh, into lips or conjunctiva of eyes. The defecation of bug happens after feeding and when the people scratch uh, the place of a bite, uh, the person uh, contaminate uh, the, uh, wound of, the wound of bite by infected feces which contain the trypanosoma cruzi. So you remember which the trypanosoma cruzi is causative agent of Chagas disease. So the infection by this disorder is caused uh, by contamination of wounds by uh, feces, by infected feces of kissing bugs. This is kissing bug uh, or triatoma bug uh, and this is the specific uh, vector uh, for uh, trypanosoma cruzi. Uh, the geographical uh, distribution of this bug, these are some regions of South and Central America. And the distribution of Chagas disease is limited by distribution of uh, triatoma bugs. So we can infect by this disorder only by biting, only uh, by biting of this bug. Uh, for bugs, uh, the indirect development with incomplete uh, metamorphosis is characterized. So uh, the female uh, lay eggs mostly in garbage, uh, in garbage. Uh, from eggs the larva hatches out, uh, the larva molts and transfer into adult. So it has three stages, egg, larva and adult. Uh, the next organisms from class Insecta, this is genus Phlebatomus. The general name is sand fly. Uh, these insectas uh, are uh, cosmopolitan and uh, they, are, they can live in many parts of the world. In Egypt, uh, the Phlebatomus papatachi uh, is vector for cutinias leishmaniasis and phlebatomus langeroni is vector for visceral leishmaniasis. The size of adult uh, sandfly is near of 2-3 millimeters. Body covered with hairs 
and divide it into head, thorax and abdomen. Uh, on thorax, uh, there are three pairs of appendages uh, and um, one pair of wings. Uh, for uh, sand flies, the indirect development with complete metamorphosis is characterized. So it has four stages in life cycle. This is egg, larva, pupa and adult. The eggs are laid in batches, in uh, damp areas, in cracks, in holes, in walls uh, or ground. After 10 days, the eggs hatches out. The uh, larva comes and molts four times. Uh, each transfer into pupa near of 14 days. And after 10 days, the adult hatches out from this pupa. Uh, sand flies are uh, weak flies, mostly uh, they uh, jump. Uh, the females are nocturnal biters. Uh, the females of sand flies uh, suck the blood uh, of human and animals, and these are temporary human and animal parasites. The sand flies are vectors for some human diseases as different types of leishmaniasis. So the sand fly uh, is specific vector for leishmania. The sand flies are vectors for papatachi fever or free day fever. This is viral disorder. Uh, the sand flies are vectors uh, for uh, carrion's disease or Peruvian verruga. This is a bacterial disorder which caused by Bartonella bacilliformis. Uh, it causes the Harara. Harara, this is a severe allergy reaction to bite of sand fly. Uh, the control uh, against of sand fly. Uh, this is um, feeling of cracks in walls and ground. Ground screen uh, using of screens and nets for meters per square inch. Using of uh, insecticides uh, against of larva and adults. Using of repellents. Thank you for your attention. The lecture is over.